He, uh, I need. That's me, bro. All his leg at the dark, nigga. All his leg at the dark, nigga. Dude. Yeah. 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 It starts off with this old lady working in a corner store one night. They bought the clothes up the I store. Wrong, she let me this sells little kid trying to so I can DPT Tila oh, okay, for all the disrespect so the he doing on GD on Guapo Big Bro. Uh, please don't call, please, man, please. That's what happens when you shoplift. There's consequences. What is this? Some damn candy. I don't want to go to jail. I happen to believe that you Hey! Have y'all niggas, I love this movie. I did too. I used to fuck with this. Hey, the child niggas used to like steal from the stores when y'all was little. Now, I know, obviously, oh, bro, y'all kids, nigga, the statute of limitations is over. Say, yup. What, what? Rain, you're not going to jail from stealing no candy. Hey, on me, I swear to God. I'm not a thief. Through my whole life, real shit, I can honestly steal. This nigga said, I steal now. Wait a minute, now, that statute of limitations ain't up. You need to stop. Stop, please stop, please stop, please stop. All right. My fingers were sticky as fuck. <laughs> hey, look, now, I'm hey, I'm keeping the whole hundred. I'm not a thief, I don't like stealing. Like, right? that stealing shit not for me. I really do got like a guilty conscience behind this shit. So, my whole life, I never really was a thief except one time. My cousin used to kept going to, we grew up in Yellowstone, nigga, if you go to Yellowstone on, um, on OST and I think that's Scott. There's a corner store called the OST, like, food market or some shit. It's right across the street from Timmy Chance. Um, there was some apartments that was behind there. We lived in there before they knocked them down. My cousin and them, they used to always go to that store and come back with candy. I'm like, damn, nigga. Nigga said, I stole Trey's heart. Nigga, get the hell on, bro. I'm like, damn, bro, y'all get this candy. We ain't got no money. Like, and I said, we went over there and stole it. We went over there and stole it. Um, I stole from stores, not people. Nigga, them is stores. Them is people, nigga. But, boom, they just kept doing that shit, bro. And I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna do it, bro. Like, I want some candy, too. They was doing this shit for like four days. Them niggas hitting licks on stores. All kind of, uh, goddamn Skittles, uh, Reese's, Suckers, all that shit, bro. So, I'm like, I'm gonna do it. I go there, and I go to the aisle where they had the Suckers and like the lollipops. I just look around, scoop the hell, put it in my pocket. And then, so, it's time to leave. Everybody got their shit, it's time to walk out. The dude said, hey, hey, I saw you. I said, you ain't seen nothing. You ain't seen nothing. You ain't seen nothing. So I just started to run. He tried to lock the door, but I ain't get caught. I ain't get caught. I look back, my cousin's still in the stove. Caught his ass. I said, damn, we about to get a whoop. So boom, my cousin ended up coming around 15 minutes later. And he's like, I gave him, um, I gave him, I gave him all y'all names. He said, we can't come back to the store no more. And ever since that day, the nigga never would let me in that store again. Now, obviously we moved away. And if I go in there now, he wouldn't remember me. But that nigga told on my ass, bro. Told on my ass the first time I ever stole some motherfucking candy. And I I knew that I was like, yo, that's God telling me this Steven shit ain't for you, bro. Stop. So I swear to God, bro, I don't steal. I don't steal, bro. After that, the only time I've ever stole from the store, I accidentally stole a honey bun, bro. Because I'm over here like. My mama gave us money to go to the store and we all putting our shit on the counter. I put my shit up there, but the person in the counter didn't notice my shit. So, boom, we get out of the store. My sister said, where you get that honey bun from? You ain't buy that. I said, I put it on the counter. I'm telling mama. Well, my mama whooped my ass behind me accidentally. I was like, I didn't know. I didn't know. I swear to God, I ain't know. I got my ass whooped.
I ain't know I took that fucking honey bun, bro. I thought they, I thought you fucking rung it up. It was so, yo, sisters is really some snitches, bro. I'm telling you, bro. How does nigga get caught stealing a single tootsie roll? You know how easy it should be to steal this little ass piece of candy? This nigga suck at shoplifting. That's a mid ass candy also. Why are you even still standing here? Tootsie roll Just ass. run. What's all this talking for? She not gonna catch you, bro, in a million years. The lady lets him off the hook though, and she goes back to working in the store. She's here with her favorite coworker also, this weird ass Middle Eastern nigga. So let's take a look at these Thanksgiving birds. Oh, this rolls nice. are good. Fuck no. Nice and plump. Oh. Just then, two robbers come in and demand all the money out of the cash register. Yo, Osama, Osama, get behind the register now! Did you hear what he Who said? Who? This is America, homeboy. Black people don't get what they want in this country. Why should you? Please! Our L murderer, bitch, get a job. Nigga, don't act like you socially conscious now. I'm telling you. Nigga, nigga robbing the fucking girl, robbing the station with, with, a, with a message. Shut your woke ass up. It's America, homeboy. That woke even nigga, ass you up. you stole the ones points you theft and only yo fat ass get a whooping over a honey bun. Bro, don't act like y'all niggas ain't getting a whooping behind nothing stupid, bro. Most of us come from the same background. We got whoopings behind bullshit. And you know it. You robbing a goddamn corner store. Being a dog. woke deep is also, That's what I'm like saying. Woke ass thing. Specifically to show off this little braid shit on his face, just so he can have an incriminating detail, I guess. <laughs> he a good criminal. They shoot the old lady and they leave, and it's sad. Sad hood movie. The old lady had four adopted sons, and they all come back home to Detroit for the funeral. They all four brothers. <laughs> I never stole but I bought from Kenny to the store and they thought I was stolen. Yo, I purposely would never do that for that reason. That's Bobby Mercer. Heavyweight champion fuck up of the family. Who's the kid? Oh, that's Jack. He's the youngest. Jeremiah's all right. She told me everything. You know, it was a rising star in the union for a while. Trust me, father. These kids are you like a horse man compared to what they would have been. You weird for watching me. Terrence Howard is a policeman. This video big as hell. I'm small in the corner. He's Let investigating the old lady murder with his partner. You know what? You're right. And he's giving all sorts of exposition <laughs> out for us. Then they stop by Andre 3000 house after the funeral to pay yeah, their respects. Look, boom, they he one of the me. brothers. I am. I right, bet. I watched the stream. There you go. I'm your Uncle Bobby. And this is Cracker Jack. Don't teach him that, man. <laughs> Uncle, you're white. Mm. Right, you're all under arrest, and so don't nobody move. I know, man. Like, baby, heck, the fuck you. Kid playing basketball. You talking about the nigga that robbed him? Witness two gangbangers running in there, shooting up the place. Come so on, we... Green. I used to make a good living around here because cops like you guys couldn't find tits in a strip joint. Mm. They go home, and their fourth brother, Jody, is here waiting for them now. I haven't seen him forever. Yeah, I know. Did you get your teeth fighting? They all four brothers still, and they sad about their mom and their house now. This big ass house, all these niggas got their own room and shit. I thought that nigga said one of ten eighty. How the fuck? Oh, you you are ad hungry. Calm down. Twitch gonna run them. <laughs> Jody goes to see his old girlfriend, generic, hey, good. crazy Latina girl. She's played by Sofia Vergara. This is the first thing I ever saw her in, I'm pretty sure. But she all star. She bad as shit. Hey, she Sophia moves in fire. Oh, my camera came on. Start shooting at what if her. I had my hat off? I'd be Jody sick. Together. Ooh, Mark shit, Wahlberg crazy. is here being super racist to her the whole time. I don't time. got no cut. That sounds about right. Loco Ono is not hey, staying Sophia in this fire, house. Nigga. Bullshit, Bobby. I don't care. La Vida Loca ain't staying in this house one more yeah. night. So I got it. this cover. What's wrong with you? Go back upstairs. Why you let him talk to me like that? Go upstairs. Why do you always do that? Don't you know, man, I'm watching the game. Come on. <laughs> they all start hallucinating that the mom is there at the table with them. Are they all the on fuck drugs? was in this turkey, bro? They all on made drugs. This okay. shit? These niggas made a whole ass Thanksgiving dinner? That's impressive. That's not easy. Also, where is the Hispanic girl? Did they not invite this bitch downstairs? Yo, facts. What's she at? Why she not eating? Yo, L boyfriend, nigga. If I invite my girl over, nigga, you eating with me. Matter of fact, you sitting right next to me, babe. Damn, she can't eat? What the fuck going on? There's the Thanksgiving dinner. That's kind of fucked up. 
She left. I ain't gonna lie. Zip up your mouth, Jeremiah. She leave, I leave. But please believe when I leave on that on that car ride home, I'm gonna be mad as hell at your ass. You got me leave my people. <laughs> you and that old tripping, bro. Now we done. Fuck that shit. You be tripping too much. You grow up in a barn. More tattoos, Angel. Please believe me. <laughs> Later on, they go to talk to some lawyer about their mom's last will and testament. <laughs> It's real sad. They real sad about it. How much do we get? In the Ford Hospital. So I am from Detroit. I'm almost done. Okay, yeah, that is surprising. Why the fuck do you have this super country ass, thick ass accent? Where that shit even come from then? How's nobody mention that shit? This nigga's wearing overalls right now, bro. This the nigga just like old McDonald. On. He's so out of place. They ain't even try to make him look any less country. That's hilarious. They go to the bar afterwards and get drunk. Conveniently, the bartender has a clue about their mom's murder for some Can reason. Can I get some? What, what's okay. your mom? What's going on? Come tell us what's going on, man. You wanna know what I heard? They track down their first suspect and he a gang member Bumble or something. Raid is over. He's hanging out at this super cool <laughs> bando party. What is this? This shit hella dirty. Who would hang out in here? This he got in here and everything. Don't dress like him, is this? You know it. Which one of your boys shot up the liquor store on 104th Street? The police got witnesses, bro. Don't even hit us with no bullshit. Hey, tough guy. Hey. Police said those people wasn't killed till 11 o'clock. So what? So they turned the court lights out at 10. Hmm. They realized the witness was lying. Oh my God, Nobody was playing basketball when the mom got shot. Now it's the next day and they go to the store to find some more clues. This doesn't add up. He's already got the money. Damn, smoke that. Damn, G Ma. Smoke pass. Ow. <laughs> Supposedly there was a witness told the niggas at Granny Pack. You know anything about that? <laughs> Nigga, Texas niggas don't put no cherry. football jersey over no fucking overalls. Can you just subscribe? Mighty Gold is shining cause of Trader Jr. King Kenny, thank you for the, big 20, for the mother, big 29 months, man. Some of you man. probably know she was shot about a week ago across the street. Dog lover, ring any bell? Damn. I feel like a crazy white dude in a school or whatever with a gun, that should have got a more serious reaction. Where's the police? Nobody even care, low key. Y'all not gonna call the cops on these niggas? How do they keep getting away with all this shit? They find the witness's little brother and figure out his address and all that. They confront the guy, but he runs away and now they have this dope ass little action scene. It's a good ass time. Yo, Damien! Yo, Damien! Oh, fuck! Yo, Damien! Bro, the same injury as gunshots. Thought to fix your damn ass. ass. I want to know who shot up that liquor store now. Man, I, I didn't see no one. Say what? Speak up. Can't hear you, playboy. It's hard to hear you out here with all this wind. If we leave, ain't nobody else gonna hear you out here either. This nigga is right next to somebody's window, Appreciate bro. you, Guapo. I'm sure people can hear all this shit. It's kind of hard to ignore, actually. Y'all niggas just had a whole gunfight in the hallway. The cops should have already been here. You pulled a gun out on some children just now. How y'all getting away with this? The Afro dude tells the brothers what they need to know. Apparently, the two goons from earlier paid him to give a false statement and throw the cops off. The brothers find the said goons in this random bar, and now they have another good-ass action scene. And this nigga still got that weak-ass beard. What up, Peyton? Let's get these motherfuckers. Jake, they can make just subscribe. Yo, Jay! Yo, JP, we just put a big eight months, bro. Thank you. They killed the bad guys who slid on their mom. I never realized how ass this movie was. Hired them and why. Chill, bro. The movie Howard was good, bro. Stop, stop, bro. Killing people in the street and solving their own crimes, but they don't listen to him. Where's your car, Bobby? 
It's not outside. Look, Bobby, if you got something, you give it to me. Don't try and take on Detroit by your damn self. Keep knocking on the devil's door long enough, and sooner or later, somebody gonna answer you. Damn, bro. This nigga wanna say Maine. Where I know this other nigga from? What movie is the other nigga, the other white dude from? So bad. You can see it in his face, bro. I'm proud of you. You haven't said it yet. The whole movie. <laughs> Eight mile? Flash Prim, you get an extra play by T. We cut over to the main bad guy now. Swat? His name is Victor Swede. I don't play know if it's a Yo, it was a, oh! I know that nigga from, um, it was this actual, this show, um, it was this show, oh wait, I don't, don't gotta put it on. I don't know if y'all niggas ever seen the, uh, the HBO series, We Run This Town. It's actually pretty fucking good. That dude, he was a cop on We Run This Town. That's where I know him from. Would tell edgy of four he the one who hired the two goons that killed the lady this is a top tier villain intro by the way yeah this, this was good bro in the movie though he shows up like 50 minutes into this show. oh we own this town i'm sorry yeah, we own this town he this was good i remember hearing myself saying out of town shooters you pay him to get the hell yeah. back out of town that's why i asked for out of town shooters you hungry of them I tell you what, you want to come in my restaurant and eat? Go ahead, eat, dog, eat, eat. We go back to the four brothers and. Every villain moment, I ain't gonna lie, he was in his bag right there. I ain't gonna lie, niggas, in, niggas in the bag, niggas in the bag. He got me fucked up though. It's just some ways I can't go. Now say it like that, it's one of them. They at the hitman's apartment looking for all sorts of clues. Then Jody Eat goes Drake, off by himself you. to do his own solo investigation around the hood. They all link back up at the house later with the clues and they start putting shit together. That's that lawyer guy. That shit had set. Remember when we made him set the kitty table? Now I don't remember. You might have to spend a night on this bitch. You don't think EM stands for Evelyn Mercer, do you? Mate. Angel! Nice. They break into the lawyer's house to look for some more clues, of course, until the crazy Latina chick pulls up and starts making everything super hot. What the fuck is- I ain't gonna lie, Shorty, we, me and you gonna have to break up. You tripping. I don't like all that shit. You get on. You being annoying. I don't give a fuck how good we have when we alone. You get on my nerves when we're around people. You gotta go. What's wrong with this lady, man? She's making everything about her and her relationship. These niggas' mom just got murdered. Leave them alone. You screaming at them and shit all the time? They let you stay in the house and redacted everything. You don't even care. You trying to get them locked Yo, up right now. So We're just gonna be five months with the what prime, the man. Thank you, gang. Shit, What's good, fam? What, what are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? No! Your mother the and I fuck? Were, were seeing each other socially. Socially, I have some of your mother's night things. What? If you want they... The next day, they're hanging out, and Joey that nigga tells his brothers that, yo, off. Yo, he slept her mama. <laughs> nigga smacking bro's stomach, bro. Leave the nigga old nigga alone, man. Adventures. He says that Andre three thousand was trying to get a you never been slept in the cold. Fuck no, I know that's hurt. Some gangsters. Word around town is that Jerry owe a lot of people some money. Evan, Jerry. I found out Jerry got a big insurance check for mom's death. Yo, time to nigga XC out. I don't remember this part of the movie. Yo, Vanda. Angel tells me you want to Victor Sweets boys now. Here he's running shit like his uncle used to, treating you like a house nigga. Whoa! Oh, all right. I don't remember that neither. I don't remember that. I don't remember that. I don't like that. I guess if John Singleton is cool with like, okay, let's say hypothetically, you let your mans get off the N word. It's up to you. Who the fuck am I? The N word. I'm not the N word police. What you do? But letting your mans get off house, nigga. Ever. Ever. That's crazy. But is he wrong? Nah, you tripping with that one. If it's, it's his movie. Still though, if you grew up with black brothers, you should know better. It's like the number one rule of black people. What's wrong with you? They confront Andre 3000 at the house and ask him Yo, about- Yo, get rid of Peter Guns. I might get rid of him, bro. 
Y'all tripping because I made insurance payments? What? I paid all her bills. Mm. Andre 3000 explains the whole situation. I wasn't listening. He didn't do nothing wrong though. Meanwhile, Victor Sweet sends out a whole van for the goons to spray all the four brothers up. Again, this is a top tier action Shit. scene. It's a good ass movie, bro. The little brother Smoke gets shot his and ass. killed though during this scene. It's only three brothers now. What the fuck? This false advertisement. Damn, they smoking the shit out that nigga. That's a good ass scene, nigga. Shit. Jack, look at me. Jack, you all right? <laughs> it's so cold in the day. How the fuck do we pop to keep peace? What's all on a nigga's mind? Terrence what the Howard fuck is dirty or something and working for Victor Sweet. Terrence Howard tries the to turn cool. him yeah, in, but cool, ends bro. up getting killed in the process. Give me a badge. See, I hate dirty cops. Please wait. Here's something I forgot. What? What the fuck you want to say to me? Come on now. What do you? What do you? What do you think is gonna happen? That was dumb. That was dumb. The three brothers come up with one final plan. They go and talk no, to the sweet's goons to set up a meeting. They gotta distract the crooked cop, or else their plan won't work properly. Hey kid, man, I need a big favor. I'll give you 20 bucks in this whole box of baby Ruth. Jody breaks into the dirty cop's house and tricks him into confessing or something. I don't know, it's probably kind of stupid actually. We cut over to the meeting with Victor Sweet and we finally see the brothers full plan in action. They go take the money from the life insurance. I'm sorry. What be up with these multiracial gangs? Like when they cast them. Nothing wrong with you having the multiracial gang. But nigga, the niggas that y'all be using be crazy. Hold on. Nigga like... <laughs> Fam. Like one of them niggas is like an Oompa Loompa. And we finally. Who is this? Tell me this nigga right here. Don't look like fucking Willy Wonka. Look at this nigga. He looks like fucking Willy Wonka. What the fucking chat? That I don't like the look of it. Oompa, oompa, Yo, what is this? <laughs> if you're not greedy, you will go far. Drill, get the you fuck out of here. You hate him. Happiness too. Like the Oompa, Oompa, Doompa Dee Doo. Hey, <laughs> Guavio, Reggie. Hey, Reggie, you vibing, hey, vibing, you vibing a little too hard. Hey, Reggie, you vibing a little too hard, bro. You vibing a little too hard, bro. Get up, bro. You dancing too crazy. Insurance policy. Finally, see the brothers' full plan in action. They go take the money from the life insurance policy and pay off all the henchmen that Victor Sweet was hoeing. Me and my brothers, we came up with a whole new proposal. A whole new proposal? Is that right? Instead of giving you the 400 grand, we decided we give it to these mistreated workers you got standing behind you. Kevin, I said pistol. Uh, no. Mm. Mark Wahlberg mm. shows up, and him and Victor Sweet have a hand-to-hand -hand combat this is hard on top this hard of a frozen scene. lake. It's also kind of stupid. Just shoot this nigga. Oh, shit. Oh, Bobby Mercer. <laughs> nah, shit, a nigga want to beat his ass first. Hit him up, hit him up. <laughs> Imagine you do this and you start getting beat the fuck up. Oh, my God. <laughs> like this. It's a happy ending now. 
they all killed hella people and got away with it. They rebuilding their mom house and now Mark Wahlberg finally gets to see his mom ghost or a zombie or whatever one last time. That woman isn't coming back, is she? No, she's not coming back. Cause she's dead, huh? Shh. Oh, it's so good to have you back home, son. He said zombie. <laughs> This shit look ass. But the movie was good. The movie was good. This shit look ass. The movie was good, though. I swear it was. Yeah, man. I think this is a good ass movie. I grew up. Dude, I gotta fix it, my so green screen if we're gonna play Outlast, bro. Talking. But even John Singleton himself, he said it's like a Saturday night movie. It's not supposed to be that deep. It's just a cool ass action movie. All the four brothers had crazy good chemistry. They definitely felt like real brothers at times. Most of the dialogue and everything felt now. Yo, I'm not gonna be able to play Outlast with my lights shit. off. Reddit. It's great. Um, I give it four out of five brothers. And Definitely we gotta do Reddit it. too. This shit's kinda long though. Okay. They could have shaved a few minutes off this shit, but it's all good. Also, I could have used some more Victor Sweet. He was fun to watch, but he barely got any screen time. And Taraji P. Henson also. Her and Jody didn't right, even interact. We'll... The whole movie. What's Damn. up with that? That's she got it, though. Things. Thanks for watching. Reddit can wait. Subscribe and like the video. Follow turn me. Turn the on lights Twitch. off, nigga. How do we all what the fuck you mean turn the lights off when I need the chroma key?